Hello, and this is my home task for lecture week 11. My name is Ahad, and my task is 20.3, iterators. So iterator is an interface which is helpful for walking through a data structure. Uh, in this case, you could say a collection. But uh, the advantage of it is that you don't have to expose or reveal the details of how the structure is made. So uh, the iterator interface only has three methods, uh, which are next, uh, has next, and remove. So and the way to make uh, to create an iterator, you have to write something like this: iterator string, because in this case we have a collection of strings. Uh, just write iterator. Uh, we you we cannot create a new iterator because the because iterator class is an interface, so we have to use collection dot iterator. This method uh, the method iterator is of the iterable interface and it returns this collections in this case uh, this collections iterator. So. Um, there are several uses to iterator. First, let's try the has next. So uh, let's try something that's just not string even. Iterator uh, has next. So it's so has next is gonna return a boolean value. That means it's gonna return uh, either true or false, depending on uh, whether there is the element. Uh, so it checks uh, whether there are any elements left. So if there are elements left, it's going to return true. If not, it's going to return false. So let's do it. Um, oh, sorry. So it returns true because uh, there are still four elements remaining. So now let's try the next. Next returns the element. In this case, uh, the next method will return a string. So let's write a loop. So uh, we can write while uh, iterator has next. So it's saying while there are still elements remaining, we are going to do this process. So uh, we could write something like um, string uh, name is equal iterator dot next. So the next is going to return a string value. And then we can just print uh, the name. So it's going to traverse through each name. So it's going to go through, go to the first name and print it. Go to second name and print it, third and fourth, and then it's gonna stop because there is nothing left. So let's try. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. So you see it printed first Franklin, Benjamin, Jenkins, and Briggs, and then it stopped because there is nothing left already. So, and the thing is, if you want to uh, do this again, you can't because. Um, the iterator has already walked through the end of the collection. So if you want to uh, print uh, what's inside twice, then you have to code, code this again, code the iterator again, so it goes into the beginning. So let's try this. And So you see it printed twice, but if you don't recode the iterator, uh, it's not going to because we are already at the end of the collection. So you see it only printed it once. Now the last method is uh, remove. So how remove works is that it removes um, uh, the element of the collection which was already returned by next. So 
let's try doing something like this. Let's not. Let's just do just iterate that remove. So it returns a legal state except so it returns an exception because uh, the, uh, we we haven't returned anything. So but let's try doing this. Um, so this uh, goes to the so iterate that next moves to the next element, which is Franklin in our case, then it removes it. Now let's try printing the collection. So you see it removed Franklin and now we only have Benjamin, Jenkins and Briggs. So uh, there are several ways that uh, the iterator class, the iterator interface can be used and in my opinion it's very useful. We could do some more examples for example, if we want to, to remove, uh, let's say, Benjamin, or if we want to remove both Franklin and Benjamin, we need to do uh, greater than that next and then that remove in order to remove Franklin. Then we do again next and remove. Oh, wait, I forgot to do it. So it removed Franklin and Benjamin. Now we have Jenkins and Briggs. So this, sorry, this is it for my video explanation of the uh, iterators topic. Thank you for your attention.